Chocolate and Cheese, Series 3, Chapter 25, I Spy, read by Zane Carney. Thank you for visiting Wellington. Come back soon, read the sign as Lars drove out of Wellington. I wonder how Jenny and Sam are doing, he thought to himself, before he pulled out his phone and began to dial Jenny's number. Jenny and Sam had just hit the traffic outside of Hamilton when Jenny's phone went off. Hey babe, she said, answering the phone. I'm on the road, exclaimed Lars. Yes, wait, you're driving? asked Sam. Yeah, replied Lars. Hang up this damn phone, boy. You know how dangerous it is for you to be using your phone while driving, shouted Sam. Sheesh, all right, mum, muttered Lars. No, he's right, babe. Hang up now, call us when you've stopped, said Jenny. All right, fine. Love you, said Lars. I love you too, replied Jenny. Talk later, said Lars. Sweet dude, replied Sam, as Lars hung up the phone call and continued driving. Lars's uncle was right about this traffic. Seems to be backed up as far as the eye can see, said Sam, as he looked out the window at the slow-moving traffic. Well, thank you very much, Sherlock Holmes. What do you want to do about it? asked Jenny. I don't know. We could play I Spy, suggested Sam. Ugh. Fine, you start though, replied Jenny. Sweet. Uh... I spy with my little eye something beginning with F, finished Sam. Uh, field, asked Jenny. Nope, replied Sam. Uh, farm, asked Jenny. Nah, -uh, said Sam. Fence, guessed Jenny. Yep, your turn, replied Sam. <sighs> Fine, started Jenny as she began to look around for something, anything. The next hour passed, as the traffic slowly crept on, and the game of I Spy continued, even slower than the traffic. Well, I spy with my little eye something beginning with, started Sam, before Jenny's phone began to ring. Thank God, muttered Jenny, as she answered the call from Lars. Hey babe, she continued. Hey, uh, I've just pulled up at a gas station so I can talk to you, said Lars, as he leaned against his car. Good. So tell us, where you at? asked Sam. I'm in Featherston, just outside of Wellington, replied Lars. Okay, well we're just coming through Hamilton, and your uncle was right about the traffic, said Sam. Damn it, replied Lars. We'll be fine though, hopefully we'll clear Hamilton soon and we'll be nearer to you, said Jenny. Okay, well I'd better go myself, get back on the road, said Lars. Okay, stay safe babe, I love you, said Jenny. I love you too, see you soon, replied Lars as he harped the call. Lars swiftly climbed back into his car, just as Lucas called. Oh, hey Lucas, said Lars. Lars mate, where are you and Sam? We're supposed to be having a band meeting, replied Lucas. Lucas, I'm just outside of Wellington, reminded Lars. Oh, said Lucas. And Sam is with Jenny in Hamilton, continued Lars. Right, said Lucas. Did you not notice we were gone? questioned Lars. Well, I guess Sam mentioned something the other day about borrowing my car, replied Lucas. Mm-hmm, said Lars. Sorry Lars, I'll reschedule the meeting, said Lucas. It's fine Lucas, don't worry about it, replied Lars. Actually, while I've got you here, I'll ask you what I was going to ask you in the meeting anyway, said Lucas. Sure, go ahead, said Lars. Well, it's about next year said Lucas. Why is everyone talking about next year? questioned Lars. Well, just you'll be old enough to enter the professional workplace or, or even a university, reminded Lucas. I guess, replied Lars. I just want you to know that the band isn't all there is, said Lucas. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Lucas, said Lars. Anyway, I should be going, said Lucas. Okay, well, stay safe, Lucas. I miss you, man, said Lars as he inserted the keys into his car. I miss you too, Lars. You be safe, replied Lucas. Bye, Lucas, finished Lars as he hung up the call and turned the keys, hearing the sound of his car roaring into life.